Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UWC Open Day. I'm going to speak about the programs available to you in the Department of Industrial Research. My name is Bright Mahembe. I am the head of department. Before I go into the details of the offerings and the career opportunities available if one completes the industrial psychology degree, I would like to just uh, talk about what psychology is. I'm sure you know about it. You've heard uh, about uh, people called educational psychologists. You've heard about clinical psychologists. You've heard about Industrial psychologists are the ones that fall under the department of industrial psychology. Why are they called industrial psychologists? Because they are concerned about how our mind affects our human behavior, especially at the workplace. So we're looking at the psychology of employees at the workplace. You have heard that stress affects us in different ways, for example. So at the workplace, we're looking at things like how does stress affect job performance? Uh, or for example, neg negative emotions also affect how you relate with others at work. So those are some of the things that we're looking at among us quite a number of other things. Things like uh, personality, how does your personality affect the way you relate with others? How does your personality um, gel with working, your job performance, things like that. Um, so I'm sure you've seen this um, this uh, picture before. It is a, like a picture of your your your, your brain, uh, which shows how the the behavior is affected by different stimulations um, to our our brain. Uh, in industrial psychology, we specifically concentrating on trying to ensure that job performance is, is enhanced by ensuring that the psychological aspects are properly controlled for, and also making sure that in terms of measurement, we match the competencies of the individual with the suitable jobs, and also in the process, try to formulate uh, appropriate interventions to influence employees' work performance or the environment positively. And under industrial psychology, we also have a sub-branch, a sub-discipline called human resources management. That's why you find in most universities uh, under industrial psychology, they also have human resources management department. Um, some of the, co the courses that are covered in industrial psychology, you find that most individuals have to do introduction to industrial psychology where you learn about the theories of psychology, psychometrics, which is more concerned with assessments. You've read about psychometric testing, things like that, um, among other uh, courses. We also have personal psychology, organizational psychology, labor relations, which is also a specialized field, training management, career and occupational psychology, Organizational, de organizational development for OD consultants. Um, and we also need to ensure that we, we, you know, we influence uh, the performance of employees. We can do that through coaching and mentoring at the workplace, especially for leaders that are responsible for a, a number of employees, ensuring that these employees' uh, health and well being is well catered for. And when they have problems, especially relating to how they perform their jobs, you can actually give coaching and mentoring at the workplace. Um, the industrial psychology program at UWC, especially our master's program, is HPCSA accredited. And we are happy and we are very proud that we are one of the highest producers of black industrial psychologists in the country. Uh, and we've got very good links with big organizations such as TFG, Clicks, Lewis, even the public uh, sector. Um, our quality control board is made up of executives from different organizations. In other words, we have got a, a board, an in-house board that we appointed, and it's actually made up of people from different uh, organizations. 
these people meet periodically to ensure that uh, the quality that we are offering is actually still relevant for, for, the, for our industries and other organizations. And also to ensure that the, 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 the theory that we are imparting is also uh, practical. Here's a look, you can have a look at the picture. These are some of our students that had visited um, F GFG branch here in the Western Cape there for industrial exposure. Uh, and this, these are owners students and this event took part in August, 2018. And almost every year we're sending our students to GFG to get industrial exposure. Uh, in terms of possible opportunities available, uh, human resources officer, as you can see, most of our, our students end up working as human resources officer. All those that complete the master's degree and uh, register with HPCSA, they work as uh, industrial psychologists. We also have talent management specialists, industrial psychologists, as I've already indicated, psychometrists. If you finish all your, if you finish your honors degree. Uh, you can actually register as a psychometrist, but we need you need to do the the training. And for this, we are actually working in conjunction with uh, our accredited uh, sister universities like Estellenbosch University. Also, there are also organizations that offer where we also send our students for the training so that they also register. Um, some people would want to help others with. So we have quite a number of our students also working as labor teachers. Training and development uh, is one of the, the possible opportunities. Career advisors, of course, when you register as an industrial psychologist, you can do career counseling. You, you can actually assess to see where the interest of the individual or the, the, the prospective employee lies, then you can advise um, some would like to work as researchers. Uh, those of us who would like to do higher uh, degrees, like for example, the master's degree, they are more research oriented. As you go up, uh, when you finish the master's degree, you can actually be work as a researcher. And if you want to actually delve more, you can actually do a PhD. We also have uh, HR consultants, COD specialists, if you specialize in organizational development. Um, of course, people like me, industrial psychology lecturer, in the betterment of society. And in terms of the academic programs that we are offering, we've got the BCom General, which is the three-year program. And in terms of the requirements, you need to consult the faculty these degrees actually require mathematics. So there is a level, an appropriate level for formats and then another level for the mathematical literacy. We work with the general requirements of the faculty. So please consult the faculty in terms of the general requirements. We also have a BCom honors degree in industrial psychology. And we have recently also introduced the BCom Honors Degree in Human Resources Management. Uh, in terms of the master's program, we have the master's, Master of Commerce Industrial Psychology offered by Coursework. We also have the, the MCom Industrial Psychology, uh, sorry, then yeah, we also have the Industrial Psychology by dissertation only. So the Coursework Master's is the one that is uh, accredited with the HPCSA. You need to do both the dissertation and the Coursework the coursework required for you to actually complete the program. Then we also have um, the MCOM HRI by dissertation is also a new program that we've activated recently. And of course, we have PhD, a PhD in industrial psychology. In terms of our future plans, we are working on the paper week uh, to offer the BCom honors degree in human resource management um, uh, online. Um, of course, uh, we also intended to do it using the industrial psychology, but the industrial psychology degree is a bit uh, technical. So we decided to go online with the BCom 
human resource management. So the difference between the degree in human resource management, or the BCom honors and the BCom industrial psychology is actually not that major. Uh, it's mainly in terms of uh, uh, certain uh, modules like psychometrics, which is a specialized uh, module for industrial psychology. We actually decided to move that one from the uh, BCom honors degree in human resource management. Then we also working on um, the documentation for activating our MCOM HRIM by coursework. It's already on our system. We just are uh, working on uh, activating it. In terms of uh, short courses, we have a short course in coaching and mentoring using neuroscience. And we also have a short course in ethical leadership and decision making. We are also in the process of introducing a few more short courses, please. Stay tuned and uh, you must actually watch our, web, our page uh, on Facebook and our department, our web page. In terms of how to contact us, uh, contact at the moment is mainly through writing emails to our admin officer, uh, Thomas. Uh, yeah. And in terms of, uh, you can also send us messages uh, to our Facebook page. Uh, we attend to the messages also that from uh, the Facebook page. And I would also like to advise you or to encourage you to also have a look at our Facebook page. We post uh, quite a number of news happening in the department. We also uh, post a lot of uh, career opportunities. We receive a lot of uh, um, adverts from our partners. Uh, our fellow organizations that are looking for industrial psychologists or HR professionals, we actually communicate also via the Facebook page. And in terms of any other news, uh, such as scholarships, we also communicate via the uh, Facebook page. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you around in the Department of Industrial Psychology. Um, imparting knowledge to you so that you can also uh, help. Good evening, Steve.